Most days I get by fine. I blend with the crowd. Just another one of the huddled masses yearning to get by unnoticed. Problemo is, I'm not as like them as I'd like to be. I got made, not born. And because it was humans made me, somewhere along the line, a couple of wires got crossed in my head. Someone botched the job. So, some days that's how I feel. A botched job. One thing I don't get, tryptophan, it's just a food supplement, and you're acting like a junkie who scored a six. Girl needs her amino acids. You okay? I will be. Oh, got a blaze. You're a lifesaver. me? I thought you might want to join me for dinner. I don't want to put you to any trouble. Well, it's nothing fancy. Just one of my run-of-the-mill, spur-of-the-moment culinary miracles. I'm not real hungry. I'm feeling kind of pumped. Ah. A glass of pre-pulsed Tokay Pinot Grill cure what ails you. Now you have to stay, because even you shouldn't be wandering around out there during a brownout. I've got a wicked headache as it is. You know, there was a time when this city actually worked. Or so they say. What were you doing when the pulse hit? On my uncle's yacht. Just motoring into Friday Harbor on Orcas Island with a lady friend. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> I knew the end of the world was coming when the sat nav crashed and uh, we ran aground. How about you? Hey! You kids out here! Hiding under the stairs. I was staying with this foster family. There were two of us, me and this girl, Lucy. She was older. Her dad was a drunk. He smack us around pretty good. He was watching a game and when the TV went off because of the pulse. Came looking for someone to blame it on. It's hard to imagine a genetically enhanced killing machine like yourself putting up with that. I was trying to fit in, you know? Act like a normal kid. Global chaos seemed as good a reason as any to bail in a bad situation. So I did. You okay? Like I said, I'm not feeling so hot. Pretty bad this time, huh? Every once in a while, I hit a rough patch. Usually the tryptophan helps, but these seizures are much stronger than usual. Should I call a doctor? What are you going to tell him? That your genetically engineered friend has a design flaw in her brain chemistry? That stuff really helps? Supplements the serotonin that your brain's supposed to make, but doesn't. When the levels are low, I have a seizure. It's supposed to be a revved up girl. Truth is, I'm a woman. I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, 
What can I do? Stay with me, please. I'm right here. You won't leave. I'm not going anywhere. I could take it out and trade, but I'm a married man. You're a real pillar of virtue, Walter. Your wife's a lucky woman. Hey, you don't suppose somebody stole it? I don't know what else could have happened to it. Oh, that's tough luck. Crime rate in this city's getting way out of hand. But if I don't get paid, you and everybody on this floor is going to be sleeping out in the street tonight. We've been robbed. The payoff money is missing. I took it. <sighs> Thank God. Excuse me, I'm waiting. Don't got it. What? Spent it. Spent it. All right, come on, ladies. You're trespassing. Hold the phone, Walter. You get your payola, okay? Anyway, you're three days early. Times are tough. You'll get it in the morning. You got 24 hours. What do you mean you spent it? I had to buy something. So you just helped yourself to the money that I collected from everyone on the floor? It was a short-term loan. You could have asked. It was an emergency. Yeah, right. Walter will get his money, so chill. What is wrong with you? Ben. None of your business. Yo, it ain't like I care, but word, we've all been covering for you. Normal's on the warpath. Well, well, well. So far, your moron colleagues have come up with the following excuses for why you're strolling in here at the crack of noon. You had a dental emergency, your aunt died again, and my personal favorite from this idiot, you were detained by the sector police for practicing witchcraft. Now, would you care to further insult my intelligence? I overslept. So you didn't sleep? I usually don't. My body probably needed to catch up. Yes, well, catch up in your own time, girly. Get out of here. Go! Hey, I need to borrow some money just in case tomorrow. I shouldn't even be speaking to you after last night. You stood me up. I wasn't feeling well. You could have called instead of leaving me on a solo tip. I space, so get off my back, okay? What is your dealio today? You don't want to know. So how about that loan? Out of chips, baby girl. Regular or extra? I don't have money. Huh? I don't have money. 
Name Dollface. Why do you want to know? You a play player from the Himalayas? Yeah, yeah, that's me. You gotta whisper it because it's kind of dopey. You're killing me. It's the best I can do. Deal. I'll have the money for you in the morning. I need the money now. I don't have that much lying around tomorrow. First thing. Hey guys, Max, we need to talk. I'll have the money in the morning, okay? You're not gonna find it. You got a problem, boo. But Kendra and me got your back. Because we love you very much. Where are my pills? I wish you could see yourself. Temper, the mood swings. Not showing up when you're supposed to. Stealing money from your friends. I needed the money for medicine because I'm not feeling well. Because you're strung out. Straight up junked. Where are they? Take it easy. It's going to be okay. No, no, it's not. I need that stuff. What you need is help. And to live your life one day at a time. You got to get yourself on a 12-step The program works if you work it. Believe me, I know. Really? What was your deal say? Tattoos. I was covered with them. I looked like a human Christmas tree. Couldn't stop myself. Where'd they go? Thirteenth step is having them lasered off. Hmm. You guys don't understand. I'll die without that medicine. Now tell me where you put it. Down the toilet. Which is where your life is headed. You don't clean up. Don't worry, dummy. Someday you'll thank us. That went about as well as could be expected. As interventions go, that was a long run. <laughs> I know you're good for the moment. Don't have any. You know anywhere else I can go? Sorry. Where do you get yours? I'll put myself out of business as a middleman if I reveal my spot. Where do you get it? Take it easy. Tell me. A doctor over at Metro Medical gives it to some of his patients. I know an orderly there. <laughs> security. What were you doing in there? The 
looking for a bathroom. Uh, uh, uh. Security's on the way. Since when is it against the law for a girl to make sissy? <laughs> <laughs> working out. You look like you lost some weight. Here you go, just the way you like it. Puck money, Walter. You gotta give us one more day, please. I already gave you one more day. Squatter's on the seventh floor. I need backup right away. Roger, out. Good coffee. Split that. It doesn't sound like Max. Do you have a place to stay? My sister's. You? I don't know. Maybe I can crash at Original Cindy's. Oh no. Sorry, baby. Come on. Come on. Sorry. All right, come on, baby. Let's move it out. What about our stuff? Probably end up getting sold off the back of the truck. business if you ralph it's going to be my business here <clears throat> clean yourself up you want to look good when they take your picture don't you See, I bet you're used to this, aren't you? Let me ask you. How much is a strung out little skis bag tramp like you go for these days? Ask your wife. What'd you say? 20 to life. That's what she ought to get if you ask me. Yeah, I didn't. Get him out of here, huh? That is something dead. Mm, smells like Sketchy's locker. I'm thinking feet, dead feet. Is there a problem here? What does this smell like to you? That smells like a package that should have been delivered by now, moron. Excuse me, is Max around? Uh, that's an excellent question. Where are the fire trucks, Max? Um, actually, Max is one of three finalists who has been selected. Never mind. Sorry I asked. Sorry. I have to. 
Any idea where she might be? I've been paging her all morning. Maybe she don't want to talk to you. Sorry? She's off the cane. Ah, uh, you're losing me here. Yeah, right. Like, I didn't notice that all this stuff started about the time you and her met. Okay, I I'm officially lost. I know all about rich guys like you. Turning a girl out, making an any a strawberry. Original Cindy took the drugs you gave Max and flushed them. Well, what drugs? What drugs? Hey! The pills you got Max hooked on. They with the tidy bowl man now. You flush your pills down the toilet. Mm-hmm. Homegirl don't need them no more. Max has a neurological condition. Huh. Those pills are the only thing that help. She didn't say anything about no neurological condition. Well, she wouldn't exactly want to advertise it, would she? Hey, it's Logan. I need you to do something for me. in the back. Just stay close to me, no matter what anybody says. Oh, yeah. Don't talk back. Name's Break. Mass. What are you in for? I love saying that. It sounds so tough. Robert. Oh, a real criminal. How about you? Cannibalism. I ate my parents. Good choice of protein. <laughs> Good luck, man. Actually, I run a little shop on Melbourne Avenue. Vintage clothes, pre-pulse stuff. Yeah. Hung a poster in my window for a police brutality protest. Bonehead move. Yeah, they busted me for it. Wasn't the first time and it won't be the last. But stay strong in the struggle, right? Guess we camp out on the floor. Good place as any. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a nerve thing. Can I do anything? I give my ass and hot for a glass of milk. I could use a vodka tonic, but here we are. It has tryptophan in it. Whatever that is. Takes the edge off. So you think I can get some? Well, vodka? No, milk. Well. Let me see what I can rustle up. I have a business arrangement with a guard I met my first time in here. He has a thing for stiletto heels. He made my previous stay more pleasant, and when I got out, I reciprocated. With shoes for his girl? Not unless she wears a size 12. Gotcha. you can. Thanks, Matt. What's up? That was a friend of mine in the police department. You got friends in strange places. He says a woman matching Max's description was arrested trying to break into a hospital pharmacy last night. Damn. They took her to Langford. You gotta get her out. Even paying off the right people, it'll take two or three days. She doesn't have that much time. What does that mean? No meds? Seizures get bad enough. She could go into a coma and die. 
He even warmed it up. That's the way it comes out, love. Guy's got a goat on the next cell block over. Hey, do you think there's a way out to the yard? Yeah, but they don't let anyone out after curfew. There's too many wolves in here. I'm going home. <laughs> well, don't let those big tall fences topped with a razor wire stop you. I won't. Or the sharpshooters in the guard towers. I've broken out of worse places than this. Look, the tough at routine might work with the boys, but you could get yourself killed. Coming with me? Thank you, no, I have a date tonight. Shoe guy? Mm hmm Cute. You won't think so when he's shooting at you. Spotlights on a movie premiere. Looks like I'm gonna need a diversion. Well, leave it to me. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's drawing attention. I'm sure, I can't talk you out of this. Here. See, so don't forget me. Thanks for the milk. Put the key under the flower pot by the door. Kendra, don't even go there. You can stay as long as you need to. Tell her I've got some ideas on how to handle that cop on the tape. Hear that? <laughs> she says you to me. Peace, I'm out. I take it back. What? the diss on you from before. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I... No problem. You like her, don't you? Who? Max. She's a good girl. Here's my guy. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. I had to call in a few favors to get in the evidence lock. I owe you. 
does your friend trying to steal that stuff anyway? It's complicated. Listen, there's one more thing I need your help with. Solicitation. Try participation. First he busts, then arrest me. I had to be sure a criminal violation had in fact occurred, didn't I? Pig. Hands on the counter. Legs apart. Don't even think about messing up my dude. house. Don't get your hopes up, you're still inside the wire. What's your name? Max. Maria. Heard you tried to escape. Yeah, turns out they frown on that kind of thing. Looks like they got you pretty good. Do you work here? I was living in the jail with my mom when the riot happened. She got killed. The warden and his wife took me. Sorry. I'm glad you're here. When you're feeling better, you can help me with the housework. It's not a lot. Just the warden and his wife. Food's way better here and you can have as much as you want. That's where I sleep. So at night, you and me can stay up late and talk. And if you hear, maybe he... What? Maria! I'd better get back to work. I'll check on you later. Bingo. Okay, put her in cell block G4. G4. Same block. They got Max's photo in the records. Yeah, she's one girl who can't afford to be photographed. Got time for this girl, don't you? Why does everybody keep saying that? Hey! Where'd you get that? What's it to you? This is Max's. Let me go home. I'm her homegirl, and if you touched one hair on her head... Take it easy. I'm her homegirl, too. She gave this to me right before she tried to bust out of here. Where is she? Maybe I took her to the war house. Well, I've got to get this to her. Fast. Well, that is a problem because you are here and she's there. Well, we've got to figure out how to get me to her or she's going to die. And that's the straight up truth. Do you do well now? Too good. How are you feeling? Stay out of his way, Maxie. And we'll start with you two. I'm sorry, Lucy. I shouldn't have gone without you. I knew it was 
was happening, but I didn't stop him. That man of mother's teach us a lesson. You'll engage the adversary only if it is consistent with your overall strategic objective. Failing that, you'll initiate attack and will withdraw. So I ran away. I left you there. Clean it out. Sick bastard. I was tired of her anyway. Why do you think you are here? officer to accept a bribe so you can trespass on private property. That's going to cost you an extra 150 Mr. Lidecker, it's Vogel saying. I got a call from a contact of mine works as a bull over at Lanford. I, I, I put the word out a while ago that anyone that comes to the system with a barcode tattoo that he should drop a dime. And, well, he, he did. Well, what, one of the inmates, uh, a girl, she tried to escape last night. Almost made it. Did you see Mr. Lidecker? I, I told you I'd play ball with you. But, Mr. Lidecker? Give me a tag team. Langford Prison. No. I made you some tea. I'm gonna get you out of here. It's not that bad. Yeah. If you hadn't taken me in, it would have been worse for me. She has a barcode on the back of her neck. <laughs> Can you give me a name at least, huh? No. Any files with identifying marks or tattoos? No. In the hall, now. Hey, you can't go in there. Yeah, get me the warden. Hey. Back your friend up. Put on a work detail in the warden's house. Mm. Well, I see a pair of six-inch black patent leather pumps in your future. Yo, get the door open! Open it now! Come on! Everybody! Clear the hall up against the wall! You, get out! Check for barcodes. 
Yesterday they brought a girl in here. Do we know where she is? No. We should probably start with the downstairs bathroom. Don't make me ask you again. His name is Lidecker, okay? He works for some government agency I've never heard of. Did he say what he wanted with the girl? No, sir. Just let's just some kind of barcode on the back of her neck. Did you check solitary? Nothing. One of the guards says there's a work detail in the warden's quarters. Let's go. Get up. You're going back. What you saw never happened. I don't know who these people are or why they're looking for you. But if you tell them anything about what happened here... <laughs> Pills, spinach. You're going to help us get out of here. I don't think so. Think again. Come on. Not without her. Let's go. look twice. You're the queen of the rose parade. Just smile and wave. Get in. What do you mean he left in his car? All right, you better check it out. Something doesn't sound right. Pull over and let my girls out. Whatever you say. What the records of every female prisoner booked in the last two days? Yes, sir. Forty-seven entries. Pull up the mug shots of all the ones under twenty-five. All right. Um, there's a problem. What the hell did you do? <laughs> The whole damn file's gone, okay? I didn't do anything. Oh, all this thing just bought himself another manicure. Like it never existed. 
I say I'm gonna work this through here. Hello. Max. You all right? Thank God. Ow! Careful. Hold still. Bottom line, that SOB got what he deserved. He went splat. Maria's totally crashed out. Mm. She's been through a lot today. Try the last few years. I'm gonna let her sleep while I go to Logan to find her a place to live. Sounds like you all are lucky to be alive. Mm. Original Cindy looked into the jaws of death and saw her own face. Listen to the mama drama movie. <laughs> you took a hell of a chance coming in after me, though. You do the same for me. Besides, we're the ones who put you in there. So, Max, original Cindy and I have been talking it over. Mm-hmm. Trouble follows you around like the tail on a dog. We're getting the vibe that there's something going on here that you don't want us to know about for some reason. Because maybe you think we can't handle it. But we can, because we down like that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> This mysterious condition of yours? Those guys looking for you at the jail? What guys? I'm asking you. All right. You guys really want to know what's up with me? Please. What if I told you I was a genetically wrapped up brunette? <laughs> like we're not but I'm a different kind of female altogether like you so special okay fine don't tell us but whatever's going on just know you're still my boo yeah me and sister girl got your back Oh my god, I completely forgot about Walter tonight. No worries. Let's go find him. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, hit him, you moron. Yes! Oh, not this clown again. This is a Screaming Freedom video bullet. It cannot be traced. It cannot be stopped. It is the only free voice left in this city. And it's coming straight to you, Officer Walter Eastep. That's right, you, Walter. Recognize yourself? That's you. Storting money from some squatters. Dirty as the police department is, I don't think your bosses are going to want to see that tape broadcast 24-7. It's not like they care you took a bribe, just that you were dumb enough to get caught on videotape, which kind of spoils the party for everybody else. So, here's how it's gonna be, Walter. You quit shaking down those squatters and this little video stays between you and me. This has been a Streaming Freedom video from the Eyes Only Informant Net. How do you put this stuff together, Logan? Father runs a dairy farm, the mom's a local school teacher, they've always wanted kids, and to top it all off, she gets her own room. And a pony. Forget Maria, I'm living with these people. <laughs> well, they're dear friends of mine, and they're really excited about this. I think it's gonna work out great for everybody. I'll get her over there first thing in the morning. Thanks for setting this up. That was a pretty bad scene she was in. You were the one who cared enough about this girl to go in and get her out. You did a good thing, Max. Better late than never. I always knew that underneath that bioengineered military issue armor plating there was a beating heart. Let's not go overboard here. I'm not signing up to join the Logan Kell Brigade for the defense of widows, small children, and lost animals. You could be field commander. I think not. So what's for dinner? Are you gonna feed me, or are you gonna just sit there? 
You know, you were much sweeter when you weren't feeling well. The bitch is back. 